Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to the K-Wings Let's Plays channel and the start of our newest Let's Play, which is Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. Ooh. Just how did Star Killer come back to life? <gasps> well, you'll have to watch this series to find out. In the comment section below, tell us your favorite Star Wars character and why they're your favorite. Also, if you want to see the first Force Unleashed game, check out our playlist in the description. Yeah. All right, it's time for us to... Meet Star Killer once again. Yeah, I gotta maximize revenue. All right, welcome back to the world of Star Wars: The Force Unleashed. In our last episode, Star Killer got fried by the Emperor. Oh yeah, he did. Just that was... where is Vader's soul Tie Fighter going? Uh, wait. Camino. That's where the clones are from. Uh Nani. Oh. Just what are you doing, Lord Vader? Wait, Lord Vader? Surrounded by chicken walkers. That's Vader's tie! How can you call yourself a Star Wars fan? That is like yeah. Vader's tie fighter. But I thought he died. <gasps> what, Vader? Yeah. No, the canon ending is where Starkiller dies. Oh, yeah. The non-canon non ended ending is where, you know, You're Vader right! dies. You're right! Right. That's, of course I'm right. Oh. I have my moments. Yeah. Vader enters the room with his asthma. What is my bidding? The party my doesn't master. start until he walks in. No, yeah, totally. You're alive. Hey there. How long this time? Thirteen days in isolation. Impressive. The Force gives me all I need. The Force? The dark side. My master. Come Ooh. We are evil once again. I feel like Vader's not treating us very well. Starkiller's Jedi mentor has been captured. General. Yes. When your training is complete, you will travel to Cato Nemoidia and execute him. Okay. I think we can handle that. <gasps> Wait, Star Killer. Invader won't always be your master. You are still haunted by visions. Yes, master. I sometimes smell a forest on fire. I see the general falling, and I feel the ground shake as a starship crashes around me. I hear a woman's voice when I try to sleep. They are the memories of a dead man, a side effect of the cloning process, and the memory flashes used to train you. They will fade. Mm. If they don't, then you will be of no use to me. Star Killer's emotions made him weak. You must destroy what he created. Ooh, two lightsabers! To hate what he loved. Oh! Uh oh. What? Well, this is just... Wait, oops. What do they mean? Side effects of the cloning process. We're on Camino, honey. You... I don't understand what's going on. We're Starkiller. He's dead. What? You're still loyal to Vader. After he branded me a traitor and tried to kill you. What's happening to me? Vader said you were dead. <laughs> Ooh, horse push. Ooh, wait. Oh yeah, that's oh, right. Oh yeah, There's... he died in both versions, the good and the bad. Well, I mean, no, he he died in the good version. This takes place at the end of the good version. Oh wow, they give you all your powers right away. I forgot about that. Yeah, because it's a continuation, so we're still still able to electrocute our um lightsabers, but not quite to the extent that we. Yeah, they're not like making. Sounds like they're in agony. So with this game, wait, don't. Juno, 
Yes. Strike her down. I can't. You will. You were created to do my bidding. <sighs> Oh my gosh, Vader's gonna kill him. She's just a robot. Then it is as I feared. Why is this happening to me? The accelerated cloning process is still imperfect. Those who came before you went mad within months. I believed you would be the first success. But it seems you are to suffer the same fate. What will you do with me? Destroy you! Wait, he knew what he was- Oh, doing. yeah. Of course he knew. He's like, meh. Well, that's one way to uh, make an exit. I'm proud of us. Oh, wee! And we're a clone. Clone power! We're like Superboy. Yeah, kind of. You have uh, dead man's memories I now. I don't want to say this, but... Oh. What don't you want to say? It's just that I, I'm going to have to rewatch the ending of the good ending again, because the last thing I saw was the bad ending, and I got all confused what happened in the good ending again. Ah... <sighs> I know, I'm 51st dates. I'm just trying to remember what happened. Okay, the good ending, uh, he fought the Emperor and, it, like, tried to stop his Force Lightning. And he saved his friends as they escaped. Oh, yeah. Dang! He died. Yeah, he, he did he die. He died in both endings. Thank you. I remember now. Oh, oh you have dual lightsabers. Okay, come on, game. Let's not freak out too much. I thought I could chop off limbs in this version. Your Kirito. Oh, this is so cool. I like how you are not working for Vader. That's nice. Yep. Okay, hang on one sec, guys. Okay. I'm hoping that worked. Me too. Hey, guys. Yeah. All right, so this is how I like tutorials. Oh, I think I did chop off so his limbs. So, your name is not Starkiller, then. Whoa. What is your name? Starkiller Clone. I feel like you should have a different name. What about Johnny? Johnny Five. Don't let him escape. If you were the fifth clone, you could be Johnny Five. Uh... Okay, that didn't go over... What? May I just say right now, I'm really glad I'm not a clone. That I know of. Hey, guys! Oh, yeah, more or less it's the same stuff as before. I just have more than one lightsaber. Kirito! Oh, my gosh! They're missing arms! Yay! Yay! Limbs that come off! Woo! Yeah, that's how that rolls. Oh, I gotta force push the door. I'm sorry. I'm not following directions. They didn't even have that in Jedi Fallen Order. There's like a way to do it with like a combo or something like that. Oh. Bye. Wow. Alrighty. Come on, Star Killer. I'm just gonna call you Star Killer since the real Star Killer is gone. Or is he? No, he's uh... gone. <laughs> he's gone. I'm sorry. Is he? Is he alive? Uh, you never find out because the game doesn't, doesn't continue. Well, no, there's no Force Unleashed 3. Press R2. Maybe we should make one. No, Disney has gotten rid of the old canon, remember? They said that eh, it wasn't good enough. They're going to make their own canon. Haha. <laughs> oh, they made one that's worse. I know, right? See, that's when you talk smack about other canons of Star Wars. You have to back it up by making an actual good canon of your own. Just saying. Did you just call me a clone freak? Shh. Are they not clones also, though? No, not anymore. There's a whole reason why the Emperor got rid of the clones. I don't know. They had, like, 
Maybe, maybe they were having health issues because they say like if you keep cloning people, like the the DNA breaks down and there's no, health issues. I, I don't. Follow a saber with a force push. Maybe they Ooh. all. Maybe they were all allergic Ooh. to grass. So what I was trying to tell you before is the yeah. big difference between this Star Wars game and the previous Force Unleashed one that we played. This one, they incorporate a lot of uh, combos and stuff into it. Ah. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. I like how you have two lightsabers. Force grips and TIE fighters. Hey, guys. It's just mean that Darth Vader just had you in there for 13 days, forcing you to do his bidding. Well, I mean, you kind of... Wait, I can force push them into... Oh, wait. That's just... You were in isolation for Whee! 13 days in that tiny little box. Wait for it. Oh. Oh my gosh! Wait, how did he survive? What the heck? I demand vaporizing! I don't know, he's one tough cookie. That's not how that's supposed to go! Maybe he's, uh, vaporizing immune. No! Nobody's vaporizing immune! Maybe he ate his Wheaties this morning. No! I you like that about the last I, game! I feel t completely gypped. Try this again! Alright, let's, let's do this the right way. Are you for reals right now? I feel like this game... I... Fine. I don't know, it might not be as fun because you don't get to be evil in it. I mean, you are evil, but you're not. You're, like, good. You're, like... No, even at the very beginning of the game. Like, if they started you out evil again, and then you turn good throughout the game again. That would be cool. But you were already good at the very beginning. You're so sweet and innocent. Like, oh, I can throw people in the fans, but they don't get all chopped up. That means, wow. If you think about it- Oh wait, yes they did! Look, his head's gone! That's great! Yay! I'm so proud of you. Well, that girl must have been really in his subconscious a lot, or he must have really loved her because the fact that they cloned him, and it's still- he's still thinking about her? I mean, it's, that shows... it's in your DNA. It's in, It was in the the original subconscious, so I mean... You know, it's funny because, like, they've had... Well, there are scientists now that believe that if you change something about yourself, like, you change, like, a habit, for instance, like, say you're a huge coffee drinker, or whatever, and then you change that and you don't drink coffee as much anymore, or whatever, um, it will actually change your DNA. Like... Your oh, oh, that was so good. Uh -oh. Like I don't know, for some reason, what, ah! you, what you do will actually change your DNA. Okay. So wait, oh, that's right, we fell to our death, so they brought us back in here. All right. So first impressions, I don't ever remember playing the second one. Uh, I did the Force. Well, I mean, no, not true. I looked at Force Unleashed one and two on the Wii, I believe it was for um, G2PO and Game Zone. Oh, okay. I didn't play the PS3 version. Uh, Game Nights did both the Wii and the PS3 version, so Swag reviewed the uh, the PS3 version, and I reviewed the Wii version. Mm. And I, I remember the Wii version being, you know, okay. I feel like the story is not as dramatic so far. I don't, I don't like the, the gameplay with this one so far. I mean, it, it's okay, but one, it feels more like the same. They also got rid of my ability to vaporize guys, which I like that about the Death Star level. You know, if there's some type of shield or something I could throw an enemy into it, there, mm. there's, you know, it's... I feel like part of the fun was, yeah, like torturing enemies, throwing them in... You know, light lightning, force lightning in them, throwing them into vaporizing things. I mean, I could throw them in the TIE fighters and the TIEs explode, but... I mean, that's it's, a lot harder to do. All the little touches that made the game so much fun are kind of gone. Yeah. It's kind of like a shell of its former self. Also, I feel like there's no... Like, the beginning of Force Unleashed 1 was extremely awesome. Well, yeah, you played as Darth Vader right at the beginning and it was like... Yeah. 
You know, I'm gonna destroy Wookiees and stuff like this. They still could have made Star Killer extremely powerful. I mean, oh, he had, he's still powerful. But they could have showed a really cool cutscene or a scene at the beginning where he's like doing all this awesome stuff. Like, it would be cool if he blew up a clone center on his way out or something. Like, if he did all, some really awesome stuff. It's just what? like, did I even hit that guy or he just passed out? It's weird. I mean, yeah, they showed him being like. I don't know, trained or whatever. <laughs> well, how I would have written it is like, Darth Vader tries to kill him, then all these clone people come in, like armies oh, oh, of them. Okay, here's the thing. Did Vader try to kill him? I mean, the guy saw a vision of how his original self got killed, but we don't know if Vader was actually going to attack the clone or not. The clone freaked out and was like, Oh gosh, I need to kill Vader. So he used his force lighting on Vader. You know? Yeah, but still, I mean, he probably knew what? that that happened. I don't know. Yeah, it's true. I mean, it does feel like the clone is... He said the other clones went mad, so... But... Yep. What I would have done is to make it more dramatic, I would have had, like, armies of clone troopers or stormtroopers come in. And try to put him down and, and watch him like destroy not only Darth Vader but armies of people. Well and, the like, clone troopers aren't really around anymore, but I, I get what well, you're saying. Well yeah, I mean I just would have had him have to go through more than just jumping out the window. Aha I mean I just feel like a, a game like this needs a huge opening. Like I guess I'm missing the huge opening of the last game or whatever. Yeah, you're not gonna have that introduction with Vader again. That was, you know, just that game. Yeah. Also, his force powers are way more powerful than last time, which I get it. It's the Force Unleashed too. So one of the great things about the Force Unleashed was using all your powers to do some pretty insane stuff. Oh man, I feel like the new uh, Jedi Fallen Order took a lot of things from this game. Oh, of course it did. Like now that I'm watching this game, it's like, oh my gosh, this is just like Jedi Fallen Order in so many ways. It's like they basically must have played this game a lot. So this game came out in either 2010 or 2011. Oh, wow. Yeah. The first game came out in 2008. And I have uh, this game on the uh, the Wii. So the cool thing about the Wii version was, I believe you had like a multiplayer where you could play like so many different characters oh, and stuff okay. like that. And the big thing with the Wii game was about including other people, whereas... PlayStation 3 and other systems were kind of viewed as like a single player experience. Remember with Wii, they were always like, oh, mm -hmm. we can play together and stuff like that. So. But the graphics were really bad on Force Unleashed 2. Yeah, the Wii. I mean, I love. That's one of my favorite things about you is like, you didn't care what anyone like thought because like when we first got married, we didn't really have any money. So it was like, you would get. You got uh, the Wii because you said. When you were single, you had your money was spent on like games and stuff. But you said when you got married, you needed to help, you know, with like you were spending money on us together, like with rent and groceries. And like you, you got the Wii because it was the cheapest system, and also like you loved Nintendo games, so you decided we just get one system. Oh, of there it is. I love. I I like that. So I am. Uh, hacking off limbs. You could hack off limbs a lot easier on the Wii version, but it looked horrible. I would say the graphics kind of look like, um... Well, I'm gonna react to stuff that happens in the game, honey. I was trying to say something sweet. I'm sorry. Uh, you have enough points to do your force powers. Okay. That's great. <laughs> Alright, what is that? Push? Where's lightning? Yay! Okay, I'm happy. I was saying when we got married, it was sweet how you supported the Wii because it was helping support us getting married and stuff. Yeah. So you would save money not buying um, two systems anymore. You just buy one. Yep. We, we did do that. Because you used to buy the Sony systems all the time. I did. And, and Nintendo to... was kind of our system. Exactly. Yeah. I thought it was sweet because you got made fun of a lot by your fellow like game reviewers and stuff. Because you'd always review the Nintendo stuff. But that was for me. Oh, so we're seeing flashbacks of our old life. You can now mind trick people? Talk about a bad migraine. 
Jedi mind tricks. Hold, Hold L3. L3. Or whatever it says. I can't read it very well. L2? L2. And press triangle. Oh my gosh! Why did he do that? I don't know. Well, that was... I basically caused the guy to kill himself. Oops. Uh, that was interesting, I suppose. That wasn't very nice of you. That was terrible, Luke. Hey, guys! Yay! There goes limbs! That's what I like about this game, though, is the limbs. When the limbs are flying, you know it's a Star Wars game. Or a movie. Well, th there was some Star Wars games that allowed, like, slicing off of limbs. I just feel like... You know when when there's a Sith and a Jedi ba battling, you know somebody's about to lose a limb. I'm warning you! Well, at least two... Uh-oh. Aha! That worked out well. Uh-oh. Okay, that's that's going to be kind of scary. So, I might be wrong, but in this part of the game, we want to use that big laser to shoot this thingy. Maybe. Unless I'm just supposed to break that, I don't know. And I just want to say what everybody's thinking. Like, what I find funny about Star Wars games is you have a lightsaber, right? But yet, it takes multiple hits with a lightsaber to kill someone. Yeah. Whereas, in the movies, it's like, one hit, you're done. If you manage to hit them. Oh, yeah, I mean, like... Especially even in the, uh... The prequels and stuff, you saw the Jedi's taking down tons of... Troops, like Mace Windu diving in there and started... Going down on people. All these, and, and Yoda and everybody oh. just taking so many names. I just... Yeah, like, I just felt it was like, woo, woo, like, just taking people down left and right. Woo, woo, woo. Oh my gosh, you guys! There was a... If you guys haven't seen it, Luke and I were watching it, but, uh... I don't know who, what show it was on, but, um, the guy who plays Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, Ian McGregor, he was, like, I don't know why he was being interviewed by these people in, I think it was a show in England, and he, um was, like, they had some, I guess, really expensive, like, lightsaber props there, and they were battling lightsabers with him, and he was making all the sounds to his lightsaber, and he was actually really good. Luke watched it with me. Though. Yeah, I did. Oh, I was wondering when the quick time event things were going to come into play again. I took that dude's shield right off and beat him with it. That was pretty intense. It was intense. Uh oh. Where does the Emperor keep getting all these like mech things? I mean that's that's a little goofy. Okay. Yeah. Well where where are you gonna show the next quick time thing? You're not. Wait, how did I use ice powers? You know what? Nah, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they couldn't have made a better choice for Obi-Wan Kenobi as a young man. Oh, Ian McGregor? Mm -hmm. He's perfect for that. The fact like that him. he was a Star Wars fan since he was a youngling in real life just made it all the more perfect. Also, the fact that he was trying to play a younger version of uh, Alec Guinness was yeah. pretty amazing. A lot of I respect for the, you know, Obi-Wan that came before him. Yeah, it'd be nice if... Some of the other people involved in Star Wars had that kind of respect for other characters. Especially for the characters that were still alive. Oh, well. Yeah. I, I know. I cannot believe that he actually, like, researched Alec Guinness's, like, like mo the, the scenes with him in the movie and tried to, like, basically mimic his mannerisms a little bit. Yep. It's like, wow, that guy is hardcore. It's dedication. Oh. He knew the sound when he was being interviewed. He was really good with flipping that lightsaber around. He oh yeah, they were it around. really trained to do that. And then, like, he knew all the sounds. Like, he knew the sound when it lights up. He even said, like, okay, it starts down here. Then you go, like, he was making all the sounds and stuff. I was just like, oh my gosh, this guy is such a nerd. It's awesome. Hmm. 
I'm just glad that an actual Star Wars fan ended up playing in the movie. Yeah, totally. I don't, I don't feel like anyone else in the movie is a Star Wars fan. Oh. Stop calling me a clone freak. I have a name. It is Starkiller. Oh, what was that? You said your name is Clone Freak? What? <laughs> wow. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Those people are, like, literally prejudiced against clones. Not right. And how does, how does everyone know that you're a clone? I thought you were a secret experiment. Every single person and their mother seems to know that you're Everybody a clone. at this facility knows. We're at the cloning facility at Camino. But how do they know about you? You're in this weird dark room with Darth Vader training you on the dark side. Uh... That's weird. Hey, it's the rocket troopers again! I guess word gets around fast. And I thought guys don't really gossip that much. I thought that was like a troll thing. Yeah. Hey, guys! Of course, some of these people could be lady stormtroopers. No, this was back before that. Those are guy troopers. Otherwise, people would be like, violence against women in video games! Oh. Now there are women stormtroopers, so you can... But if if you do... Here's the funny thing I love about, like, our society today. If you go crazy and say you electrocute a stormtrooper like crazy, but that stormtrooper is a woman in a, a future Star Wars game, you'll have people on Twitter, the Twitter Puritans, saying, Oh my gosh, the new Star Wars game lets you torture women with force lightning. But doesn't it also let you torture men? Yeah, I know. As long as it lets you torture both, then what's the problem? Exactly. Also, how would you even be able to tell? Ah! They all wear the same uniform. Except because they add the sound effects. I'm, I'm just saying, like, in... Not oh, not the, the old Star Wars canon, the... the Like, the new Star Wars stuff. But in the, the recent Star Wars game we played, uh, the, you know, aside from that one uh, second sister lady, there wasn't really a lot of uh, stormtroopers that were women. Well, um, that that came with uh, the next wave of Star Wars movies. I'm sure... Uh, never mind. I'm just being a little facetious, but... No, I... I, I can see the future of the force. Oh, I, I can understand that. Like, that's... But I mean, if you think about it, like, Princess Leia was actually put into a torture chamber at the beginning of A New Hope for a minute. You didn't see it, but... No, you didn't, you didn't see it, but it happened. But I mean... All right, I'm not going to get dark or anything, but there's certain reasons why women really shouldn't... They should really be careful about being in the army, to be honest. Let's not get into that. I know. Oh my gosh! Okay, this is cool. Ah, uh, sorry guys! Come on, Starkiller! I hate to dash and run! Oh, that worked. Yeah, the dashing helped. Yeah. Okay, if the camera angle could be get all fixed, that would be great. I can't see where I'm going. If that was me, I would end up burning my arms on accident, holding well, both of them. Holding both lightsabers? I would, like, lean on the wall, and I'd be like, Ah, my arm! I leaned on my lightsaber. Whoops. I mean, I already burnt my, like, mouth on my pizza two days ago. Youch. Yeah, I eat it too fast. Uh oh, an army of chicken walkers. We're gonna steal Vader's tie. Oh, that is bold. Okay, never mind. I take it back. This is a cool opening. It just didn't have a cutscene. Well, it had a cutscene with Vader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Better than nothing. It the the first game set the bar so high that it oh, never, of course it can't be attained again. It's unattainable. Four script. Oh, you want us to grab the TIE Fighter. Oh my gosh. Is it weird that I'm kind of happy that Darth Vader's still around? Well, I mean, it's, like, it's the Force Unleashed too, so... It's just but, the, the light side ending was the real ending. Yeah. But, um... Did Luke die? Why would Luke die? But would, he just got turned evil? No. No. Oh, that's just the DLC. That was the DLC that happens later. Oh, okay. I understand. Those TIE Fighters always seem like they're screaming. Well, I mean, wouldn't you scream if you were being force crushed? Um, yeah, probably, to be honest. Alright, so are we doing this right? You could just take it in silence, but... I feel like it 
releases the pain a little better to get it out. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, that's why one Jedi is a problem, Amber. Like, Ooh. somebody who is super Force-sensitive, Yeah. the Emperor would, fe would totally fear somebody like this. So, a whole, like, League oh. of Jedi? I have a question about that. Uh-oh. So, before the Empire destroyed all the Jedi, they weren't able to completely take over. Wait, what are you... Activate a what? Force Frenzy? What is this? You become Wolverine? I look like I'm becoming Wolverine. Oh, okay. Yeah, they... I remember waggling like crazy in the Wii version. Oh my god. That, gosh. yeah, so Force Frenzy's actually pretty dope. The waggling. I feel like... I don't the, miss the waggling. The Wii said that it was helping you get in shape, but really it was just hurting your wrists. It was. Like... It wasn't really getting anyone into shape, like, except for the Wii Fit. That was awesome. But th most of the waggling was just, like, giving everybody carpal tunnel. <laughs> oh, yes! There go their limbs! Yay! Ooh, we stole sh the ship. Not yet, we haven't. Wait, is Vader in there? There he is! Oh, oh my gosh! Go! Take Run. the ship! Oh my gosh! We've got it! My he... ship! Is he gonna crush it? Aw, oh, thief! Come on, can't you use the force there, Vader? Eh, <laughs> eh. It's like, aw, that was my ride, man! My ship. Dude! This is what I get for leaving the keys in the ignition. He's like, all my gummy bears are in there. Oh my gosh. Alright, that was a pretty dope opening. Yep. Meanwhile, on another part of the galaxy... That's pretty. I kind don't of. Really see how this is pretty. But... All right, it's it, it's not. Oh, it looks like a coliseum of some sort. People cheering. Ugh. Ooh, some kind of Komodo dragon. Something like that. Oh my oh, god! Oh, that's where General Koda was. That's your blind friend. So he became a gladiator. All right. Probably not by George. Dang! Rebel Alliance. You're running out of executioners, Baron. I'll try the Corillian slice sounds. That Jedi is like destroying everything. Hmm. Assemble a squad in the hangar. I'll meet him there. Oh, he's gonna think it's Vader. Oh, this is too good. Oh my god. Because we stole Vader's TIE Fighter. Everybody knows who Vader's ride is. Oh, this is funny. Wow. That's really weird. Oh, yes. Wait, are we gonna destroy this? Oh, guy? yes. Good, because this guy seems like a freaking jerk for making people fight in his gladiator tournament. It's like near. Oh, that's something. an imperial guy who has. All these people are gonna get wiped. Awesome. All right, Star Killer, how are you gonna do this? They're all completely evil, so I'm completely okay with that. Nope, oh, he brushes up his uh, little imperial badge. Shh. All right, this this game's awesome. Nani. I was expecting Lord Vader. The Jedi. Where is he? Oh, he's alive. For the moment. He's been in the arena for seven days. What are the Imperial security codes for this sector? The security codes. These are your security codes! Yeah, I'll show you the security codes. Oh. I'd run away. Oh, I was hoping for something more exciting than that. We're going to rescue our friend. And he's going to be like, hey, clone friend. Don't do this. You mean, what about what about this? I love that we steal Vader's tie and use it as like a uh, joyride. That's just. It's, it's such the, a teenage thing to do. It's like taking off your glove and slapping somebody. 
Disgraced. Yeah, it is like a teen. It's like rebellious son thing. Kind of, yeah. Taking my dad's car out for a joyride. Well, that's what happens when you leave the uh, keys in there, Vader. Come I on. know. Why did he leave them in there? Well, that's smart. He left the keys in the ignition. What did he expect? Mm. And you're his uh, teenage son had a hot date, so he's like, well, I'm taking my dad's car. Is that thing not dead yet? All right, there Chicks we go. Chicks dig the car. Aha! Return to sender. That's right. Wait. What? Is your girlfriend still alive? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh my gosh! This is gonna be so awesome! Maybe. All right, so anyway, guys and gals, that's gonna do it for our first episode of Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah! Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join us next time as we basically save General Coda. I think that's his name. I don't know. Blind guy. And uh, restart Ranger. the rebellion. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah. Check out Shenmue and uh, be on the lookout for our next LP on Superman Returns starting up very soon. God bless. Happy gaming. See.